Hey, this is Leo for Actualized.org. And in this episode, I'm going to walk you through a guided meditation. I'm going to show you what is perhaps the least painful and the most pleasant way to meditate. This is a live exercise that I want you to do with me. This is not something you just listen to. This is something you actually have to sit down and do. So find 20 or 30 minutes to set aside right now or sometime today and do this exercise. Do not put this off. I'm going to give you just a little brief introduction here, but mostly there's not going to be any theory here. I want you to get a direct experience of what it's like to do an awesome meditation session. All right, so don't put this off. Remember that almost all my episodes, I give you specific, simple, but specific action steps that you can start taking to start transforming your life. And if you dismiss them and just say, oh, that's not important, I already know that, then you're missing like 90% of the juice. This is where the power is at. Listening to theory is not where the power is at. The power is in the practice. So start the practice right here. If you're new to meditation, then this will be a great introduction. It'll show you how to do it in a very pleasant way. And if you've already been meditating for a while, then this will still be valuable to you because I'm going to introduce a very important critical component here, which likely your current meditation sessions are missing, especially if you have this problem where you're frustrated with meditation. So, this is going to be very valuable for you. The important component that I want to introduce to you here is the component of letting go. The component of surrender. Too often when we get into meditation, we come into it and we have all these objectives, such as we want to be a good meditator, we're told to quiet our mind, we're told to let go of thoughts, and... Uh, what happens is that we're so busy letting go of thoughts that we end up actually being in control the entire time. And what we don't realize is that the letting go and the surrender is a critical part of a successful meditation session. And uh, I want to give credit to Adyashanti, who I got this insight from, right? He really opened my eyes to this fact that, man, I need a, a less neurotic way to meditate. I need a meditation method where I am really letting go and I'm actually enjoying it rather than sitting there and neurotically trying to manipulate all my thoughts. So this is sort of like the no manipulation method, if you want to call it that. But that's all the theory I need to give you. Everything else you're going to learn here in the exercise. So let's get started. Go ahead and find a comfortable position, preferably seated, not lying down and set aside some time where nobody will distract you, where you can focus on this. Because you're going to go pretty deep in a short amount of time. So you're sitting in this comfortable position. You're going to close your eyes for the duration of this guided meditation. So go ahead and close your eyes, get comfortable in your seat, and just sit for a second there and be still. Still yourself. You don't need to sit in some meditative, special posture. Sit comfortably in a relaxed way, the way that you would if you were, let's say, watching your favorite TV show. Go ahead and take any ideas you have about meditation or any favorite methods that you've been using and just put them aside. You won't need them for now. This is something different. With your eyes closed, start to feel into your body. And just become aware of the various sensations that comprise your body. Your feet, your legs, your abdomen, your chest, your hands, whatever it is. 
You don't need to specially feel into anything. Just let your awareness wander outside of your skull. And just let it notice whatever comes into awareness. Really feel the body. Including any unpleasant sensations, just allow yourself to feel them. As you're sitting here, listening to me, do not try to meditate. There is nothing for you to do here. There is nothing to accomplish. Do not manipulate your experience in any way. There is no need to enter into some kind of special mental state. Do not even manipulate yourself into relaxation. Do not manipulate your thoughts. Do not try to stop or to control your thoughts, but simply let go of control. That's it. That's all you got to do. Just let go of control. As you sit there in stillness, Even though your eyes are closed, you remain wide awake. You're awake and alert behind the closed eyelids. Notice the external sensations that are occurring for you right now. External sensations are any sensations that are outside of your skull, including your body. So if you're noticing your feet, that's an external sensation. Start to notice all the external sensations that are happening outside of your skull. Now push yourself out, gently push yourself out of your skull and into the external sensations. Don't try to do this. Just notice that it's already done. There is nothing to try or to do. These external sensations are already there, and they are already in your awareness. And just become reality. Rather than being some thing that lives inside your skull, or rather than being a human body sitting there, instead become all of reality. Become every sight, sound, thought, internal and external sensation, become all of it. Don't merely watch it, but actually be it. You don't need to try to do that. Just notice that it's already the case. You already are it. There is nothing to do here. 
nothing needs to be manipulated in order for you to be reality. Because you are reality every second. No special mental state is required. Because it's always the case. So there's nothing to try and nothing to do. Notice that there is nowhere to go. There is nowhere else for you to be than right here. Where can reality run to from itself? Nowhere. Reality is everything that's occurring. There is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to manipulate to. Notice that. Notice that there is nothing to do. Notice also that there is nothing to understand or to know or to figure out with your mind. So the mind can be completely let go because there is nothing for it to figure out. Let go of trying to become enlightened or to have any other kind of quote, meditative experience. The meditative experience is always the case. Every experience is a meditative experience. Because meditation is simply what is. Surrender yourself completely to what is. Surrender the mind and surrender the body. Let go of all manipulation. Even let go of the desire to let go. Let go of every struggle. Let go of any lingering worries that you have. Let everything go. And relax your body fully. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms and your hands. Release all the tension in your abdomen. And relax your legs. And as you're relaxing your body, Completely relax your mind. Do not manipulate anything. Just notice everything exactly as it is. And notice how relaxed it is.
allow everything to just be. Including anything that's annoying or perhaps a bit unpleasant, allow that to be too. And if you have any resistance to letting go, or if you have some resistance to an annoying sensation, allow that resistance as well. Do not manipulate your resistance. Just allow it. Stop caring about anything. There is nothing to care about. There is no objective. You do not even care about being peaceful or calm or relaxed or happy. Let go of caring. And just be perfectly still. Notice your mind becoming very restful. The mind just shutting down. And notice your sense of self just getting pulled and absorbed into your surrounding environment. All the sensations that are outside your skull. Notice yourself just getting absorbed into that and becoming it. All that meditation really is, is a resting of the mind. For this short period throughout your day, your mind will be totally at rest. But inside, you will be fully alert and awake. Be fully alert, even though you are fully relaxed. Notice the natural, spontaneous joy that overcomes you from simply being peacefully alert. Alert, but perfectly still in body and mind. Be outside of your head. Be all of reality. Notice that this is already the case. There is nothing to do Surrender any last remaining shreds of the need for control or manipulation. Surrender yourself completely to reality. And just sit. If you notice thoughts arising, allow them to arise. If you notice a desire for control or manipulation arising, just remember to fully surrender and to let go. Just 
let go. If anything is distressing you, just let it go. If you're unable to let something go, just let go. Let go of the desire to let go. Enjoy your silence. Enjoy reality. This is all there is. There's nothing else. Enjoy being aware. Notice that awareness is perfectly effortless. You do not need to make any effort to be aware. Good. Take a few last moments to enjoy the silence. Gather any lessons that you learned here from this experience. You can take them with you when you awaken. So go ahead and slowly open your eyes and come on back. Okay, great. Welcome back. So that was a taste of meditation done properly. Meditation done in a manner where you actually let go and surrender the ego and you start to merge with reality a bit. Did you notice that? Did you notice the merging of reality starts to happen effortlessly when the mind is simply silenced and letting go has occurred? The key lesson here is that you do not silence the mind through control and manipulation but paradoxically, just by letting go. Right? And at first what happens is that your mind can wobble a bit, and when you let it go, it can run away, and it can uh, go into monkey chatter. But over time, and this can happen rather quickly, just within five or ten minutes, if you just keep letting go and letting go and letting go, and you keep letting go of any desire to not go into monkey mind mode and all that, you just keep letting go over and over and over again, and you just keep pushing yourself out of your skull a little bit in a very gentle, non-manipulative sort of way, then after a while you just enter this very, very, very deep, peaceful place. And then you can sit there. Sit there for half an hour. Sit there for a whole hour. 
if you can. That would be the ideal. But if you only got 20 minutes a day, do it for only 20 minutes a day. So I hope you got some uh, real first-hand insights about how to do meditation better. Apply these insights to your current meditation practice. If you don't have a meditation practice, start one immediately because this is the number one, the number one self-improvement habit that you can create. That's it. It's simple, but it's number one. And if you're interested and you want to use what I talked about here as a guided meditation aid, and you're just starting off and you don't feel like you can do this with yourself when you're seating, uh, when you're sitting down to meditate, then I'm going to have an audio for you that's just going to be a you know straight edited, just the guided part, none of the theory, nothing what I'm saying right now, but just the guided part. So you can loop it, put it on your uh, phone or on your iPod or something, and just kind of loop it over and over again every day and use it to meditate. So that's it. I'm signing off. Go ahead. Don't forget to click the like button for me. Post your comments down below. I do read most of them. And uh, share this episode with a friend. And lastly, come check out actualize.org right here. This is my website and my newsletter. Sign up to the newsletter so that you're staying on track with all my future material so that you can start to practice this path, the path of self-actualization. There's a lot of theory. I give you lots and lots of theory. The theory is great. I love the theory. You might love the theory too, if you're like me, but it's the practice that really transforms your life. That's what you need to get into. So staying on track by signing up to the newsletter, that will keep you reminded. It'll keep you from falling off track, from getting distracted. That's so important. I guarantee that if you stay on track with me every single week for one year, your life will start to change in remarkable ways. And if you stay on track with me for two or three years, wow, you're going to have some really powerful shifts. So uh, stay tuned. And also, do the practice work so that the more advanced material that I release in the future, you can actually have some direct experience of. Because the things I talk about require direct experience. If you're a real lover of the theory, you have to become a lover of the practice too. Because after a while, you can't get to the deepest theory anymore because you don't have enough practice. So if you need to use that little mental trick to trick yourself into practicing more, then do it. Whatever works, you know. Lots and lots of practice is what's required to transform your life. So sign up, stick around, and I'll see you soon with more.